Hi everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma. In this video, I want to talk about the five Chrome extension tools that you should definitely be using. These are all completely for free. I have separately made videos about Chrome extensions and a lot of you seem to like it. So in this one, I am here with five new and unique Chrome extension tools that you should definitely check out. And these will help you save time, boost your productivity, and it's a must use for all of your students out there if you're in college or if you're in school. All of these are linked in the description so you can take a look at that. But let's move on with the first one and that is going to be unhook unhook is a really interesting and free to use chrome extension the idea is imagine going to youtube let's say you want to learn about web development so you enter youtube.com and before you search in that search bar you will see that you have a ton of recommendations koi tanmay bhat ki video hai koi bhi bibi kevines ki video hai koi bhi random videos hai and you might get attracted to one of those videos and you might end up clicking that and you might end up putting in 5 10 minutes 15 minutes of your time over there your goal for going to youtube was to learn about web development and look at you right now you are doing something else completely because of the youtube recommendations what if we can get rid of the complete YouTube recommendations and you can just go on to YouTube and you can literally search for what you want exactly like google.com and that is what you can do with the help of unhook so what it basically does is it gets rid of all of the YouTube recommendations on YouTube home as well as the side recommendations that you might see when you are looking at a video now this is an amazing thing that you should totally check out because this will help you save time and you can be more mindful of what content you want to watch totally take a look at this i shared this tool with people on twitter and over a thousand people liked it a lot of people shared it with other people as well it's an amazing tool for you to use it has a bunch of settings that you can tweak around if you want to save your time if you want to get more work done Unhook is one thing that you should must use with YouTube if you are trying to learn anything from YouTube as a platform. It's an amazing place, but there are distractions that come, so to avoid it, this is a great tool that you should definitely be using. Moving on to the next Chrome extension tool that you can use, and this is going to be Identity, which is also the sponsor of this video. Identity is like your digital home screen of your browser. You can organize websites you visit as tiles on your home screen, just like you do with your phone. You can create your to-do list, you can add your Gmail into it, and you can can make it your one digital hub for all of your needs. As you can see, this is my identity workspace and I have created categories for the applications I visit, including investing, work, fun, as well as learn. When I click one of the tiles, their Chrome extension automatically fills up the username and password without me having to manually enter it myself. Now that is super convenient. Moreover, whenever I log into a new website, identity automatically pops up asking me to add this website as a tile in the identity workspace itself. Identity is completely free for you to sign up and I highly recommend you to check it out using the link in the description. The next extension you should check out is going to be Forest or Pomodoro. So the basic idea is creating a habit of deep focus whenever you're doing something. I had this interview with Ankur Bariku and in that also he said that create Pomodoros. 25 minute periods in which you are focused on working. That is literally all that you do and to make this possible use either forest or pomodoro pomodoro is basically tomato for spanish the basic idea is 25 minutes you put in to learn something to work on something and just have complete focus and then five minutes you give to play just go for a walk or do something else this is a great way for you to build a habit of having deep focus on something maybe it could be reading a book it could be maybe writing your book whatever it is you have to try out Pomodoro technique. You can also try out forest in which basically what happens is the more time and the more focus you spend on doing something, the tree grows up. You can choose either one. I personally prefer Pomodoro. If you can get five to six Pomodoros done every single day, deep focus, six Pomodoros, that is literally all that you need to be you know, crushing it in your life, in your career, in whatever you want to achieve. And this is very much important. Go take a look at the Ankur Variku video if you want to learn more about how to be more productive, how to save your time. Link in the description if you're interested, just in case. Also, I like to listen to some calm music whenever I'm working. So that is also something that helps me out. All right, now moving on to the next one. This has helped me so much when I'm working with clients and when I'm working with contractors in MarketUp. This extension is called as Loom which is a easy to use screen recording software that you can directly use with their extension. The way it works is that you can literally record your screen with just a click of a button and for five minutes, you can record your audio, you can show your face, you can do all sorts of things and it is very 
much useful let's say you want to show something to your friend you want to create a presentation for someone you want to create a simple youtube video talking about something or you just want to share some insight with someone you can do all of that with the help of loom there's only one limit and that is you cannot record for more than five minutes in the free version you can upgrade if you want to but for most of my work i'm able to do well with the five minute thing and so that is what you can also try to use loom it's super useful i have used it a ton when i'm giving feedback to the video editors to the thumbnail designers and it comes in handy all the time once you record it you can simply share the link of it with anyone and they can just watch it without you having to upload it on google drive or on youtube or you know just sending it like a actual video on whatsapp none of that stuff just share the link and that is all that you need to do to share your idea with people that is what loom enables you to do people can also add some comments at a particular timestamp and you can view that as well bahut sare features hain loom ke i will not go into all of them you can explore in your own time all right now moving on to the last one by the way if you are still watching this video just write in the comment section i'm still watching i'm still getting value from this video please tell me right there in the comment section because i'm recording this video at about 1 o'clock in the midnight that's why you might see these you know dark circles or something but anyways the fifth extension that you should use is going to be calendly if you are a freelancer if you're trying to work in a corporate environment or if you're trying to just invite people for meetings this is one tool that has helped me out a lot the way this works is that you can create slots in which you will be available for people to talk to so create this and then just share this link normally kya hota hai when i'm working with clients who pushte hain ki tum kab free ho fir mera to main yahan yahan pe free hu fir bolte hain nahi main yahan pe free hu fir main bolta hu chalo theek hai ye wala time karte hain fir kuch time baad bolte hain ki nahi main abhi free mein nahi hu so all of this janjat you can get rid of with the help of currently it's free for you to use you don't have to pay for anything and you can simply get this one link for you it will help you out tremendously in just managing all the tasks that you have in your calendar so try this out as well for me it has been a huge time saver and uh, it's a great product that they've built overall so these were the five chrome extensions that you should totally try to use there are other ones as well like for example i did not talk about momentum and some other extensions as well so let me know if you want me to make more of these videos that's all i have for you today hit the like button and subscribe to this channel let me know in the comment section what other video should i be making what are some other extensions that you like to use also share this video with your friends on social and tag me at Ishan Sharma 7390 and that is going to be amazing thank you so much i'll see you in the next video and bye bye